Well, here comes Daniel. Oh, a blessed I... evening to all of you, and what a blessed evening it is to oh be my gosh, Elaine Daniel. and Brad's permanent, everlasting, lifelong love for each other. Of course, Daniel. This is forever. Hi, I am Daniel Barona. I am best man three of three. As Sal and John Jay have already commented on the matter at hand, allow me to provide my own opinions. I have known Bradley since kindergarten at St. Michael Academy. We started on the same day, same day of the week, a week or two into the school year. I won't mention that he was crying the first day because I don't remember it, but that's what everyone tells me. Eventually, we became best friends. He had a cool toy tank truck, had a computer, had an RC, had basketball shoes, had a basketball hoop, had a car, etc. Bradley Flores Fernando is my BFF. I have known Elaine since 2007 when she started working with the youth and young adults at St. Michael. I do remember her being sassy, tenacious, challenging, a workaholic, and deeply caring. Elaine, we, did, we really did not need all the arts and crafts for retreat, but thank you anyways. <laughs> there are many things I can talk about regarding Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Fernando. I could talk about the first time they met. They both uh, believe regular. it was at the 2012 St. Michael San Diego Young Adult Bonfire, but it wasn't. What they don't remember is that they met a few years earlier when visiting Mr. Short at the hospital. What they also don't remember is how they were flirting with each other at this first meeting. <laughs> They especially don't remember Elaine playfully saying to Brad, So, when are you taking us to Hawaii? After finding out Brad was talking about wanting to take a trip. I guess Brad didn't realize Elaine was joking. And what a trip it was. In 2015, Brad finally took Elaine to Hawaii and proposed to her. I could talk about the what if conversation between Brad and I. What if I like her? What if we go out? What if I marry her? Elaine, as you know by now, Brad worries. If given the opportunity <laughs> and time, Brad can worry about anything. I could talk about how Elaine, before dating Brad, always jokingly said, I don't need a ring, just a house. <laughs> Brad is an overachiever. He gave you both a ring and a house. I could talk about the first and only young adult lock-in where they were coincidentally together through the night. Or talk about how Brad started to heavily volunteer at St. Michael. Mr. Short and I thought we finally succeeded in getting him back into the flow. Mr. Short, I think we know the real reason why he came back to serve. <laughs> or talk about my reaction to finding out where they had their first unofficial but official date. Come on, Brad Burger King. Oh Brad gosh. was having his worry fit as he was telling me. All I can think of is, seriously, that's where you took her on your first date? What I do want to talk about tonight was a weekend experience I shared with the two in 2014. The newlyweds, Aaron, who see that table 30, and myself were tasked with the responsibility to cook for the confirmation retreat weekend. As I mentioned earlier, Brad is a worrier, and many times during the weekend, he would worry, overthink, and overanalyze. It came to a point where Brad was having a worry attack concerning the sauce for his pulled pork sliders. Aaron and I would consistently and constantly say, it's okay, it's good, but Brad would continue to worry. 
instead of being commanding and demanding person I know her to be, Elaine was patient, kind, and uplifting. She coached Brad through his worries. She helped him critically think of solutions to the issue. And at the end of all that, Elaine even boosted Brad's ego, saying, you're so smart, babe. You're good at what you do. That was the constant theme of the weekend in the kitchen. You're so smart. You're good at what you do. Then they would gaze into each other's eyes as Aaron and I were chopping onions. Aside from being weirded out and witnessing this interaction between the two, I realized that this is a good relationship. It is good in that they work together at solving problems. It is good in that they know how to both laugh and be serious with each other. It is good in that they make each other better. Brad got over the worry and trusted in his hard work and ability. Elaine openly, openly revealed in public she actually has a compassionate side. <laughs> Elaine, I have constantly jokingly said you took my BFF away, but I am overjoyed you did because I have never seen him this happy, at peace, and in love. I could say, take care of my best friend from kindergarten, but I know you have already been caring for him as you've proven. This is my prayer, my challenge, and my toast to Mr. and Mrs. Bradley Fernando. Keep doing what you did in the kitchen. Love each other endlessly. Be patient with each other, especially in the annoying times. Help each other, especially in, the, in each other's weaknesses. Challenge each other to become better and bring each other closer to Christ. Brad and Lane, I love you and may you have a blessed marriage. And for everyone out there, raise whatever you have and cheers to this beautiful couple. Next up, we got a special.